You won't find many athletes who simply throw in the towel, especially when it comes to their dreams. And guess what? Gilbert native Michaela Skinner capitalizing on another opportunity to shine, and she's bringing the bling back to Arizona with her. Michaela Skinner delivering on the vault in the individual events at the Tokyo Olympics. Her family watching from Gilbert. Thank you guys so much. I really couldn't have done this without your love and support. If you're going to go out, it's best to go out like that. Michaela out just days ago due to the two athletes per country rule. But that changed when gymnastics great Simone Biles pulled out due to the twisties, giving Michaela one more shot at Olympic glory. I kind of had to like get back into the rhythm of things, but um, it's just been so cool to be able to go to work out and then having Simone support me through all of this and just, you know, take it one day at a time. Michaela's parents, Chris and Kim, happy she made the Olympic team after going as an alternate for Rio. This was Michaela's last shot before ending her days of competition. We couldn't have asked for a better retirement gift. And we can't shy away from Michaela's super fan, big sis Chelsea. It is like the best feeling in the world. I like am so proud of her and I've been her biggest support system and her number one fan and so to see her out there it's like like just it brings so much joy not to mention Michaela's gratefulness to her gigantic following posting a thank you on Instagram saying I'm grateful I never gave up and that so many of you never gave up on me now her family just has to wait for her to get home but now like I can't wait to jump on her <laughs> And 1996 gold medalist Carrie Strug, who's from Tucson, tweeting her congrats to Michaela. Strug adding that it's, quote, an amazing arc to your journey with the hashtag never give up. Who can forget Strug at the Atlantic Games and her vault on an injured ankle to win gold for the Magnificent Seven. Such an awesome memory and one more for Michaela. And as for Michaela, she's proven just how resilient she is. In addition to everything that's transpired in the past week, it's been a tough eight months for her. Michaela hurt her ankle last December, and then in January, she caught COVID and pneumonia, which landed her in the hospital for a week and cost her more than a month of training. But tonight, that's all behind her, and Michaela is coming home accompanied by her well-deserved silver medal. The vault, though, not so friendly to Phoenix's own Jade Carey. Jade stutter stepping on her first vault, leading to an awful landing and dissatisfying score and last place finish. Her friends and family watching at the Arizona Sunrays Gymnastics Center in North Phoenix. Her dad and coach Brian comforting her right there in the arena while her mama Danielle sends love from Phoenix. So proud of you. Um, it's not about the medals. It's about you know, feeling good and, you know, being there for your country. It sure is. And Jade has one more shot at a medal in a couple of hours when she competes in the individual floor X final. That's her strongest event and her personal favorite. So Karibe and Mark, of course, we're all rooting for her and hope that she can end her first ever experience at the Olympics with the sweet sound of our nation's anthem. Oh, Bye. that's all right. We're proud of her no matter we what. We are. Exactly. All right, thanks so much, Rachel.